Hey guys, I wasn't planning this, but I have got an entire week planned out for you guys. Let's start it off. Here we go. Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. My name is Bob. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. So yesterday, this is this whole week is wasn't planned, but it's kind of gone off in a direction I can't stop. Yesterday I was driving down the road and a song came on that all but forced me to crank my speakers up to a level just shy of blowing out my speakers. <laughs> I cranked it. <laughs> the song was uh, by Steppenwolf. It's a 1968 song called Born to be Wild. I, I just just love that song. I'm not sure that there are many songs that can capture that sense of adventure and freedom uh, like that song does. It's like, it's like the perfect driving song. And that got me thinking, because you know I'm always thinking here, why not do a top five of songs that you just have to crank up while you're driving down the road? I think I can do that. I couldn't come up with a reason not to, obviously, so here we are. So welcome to drive a palooza <laughs> five days of crank them up driving songs to mix things up a little bit uh, i'm not going to just play the studio versions that we hear on the radio all the time i'm going to go ahead and pick out live versions of the song so at least we get a little slightly different take on the song so we can talk about maybe some of the differences um, i think that's probably the best way to do it now when i was thinking of songs the first one that came up besides this steppenwolf song was um, Radar Love by the Dutch group Golden Earring. And I quickly came to the realization that I already done a reaction to that. So what I will do, because that would have made my top five hands down. So what I'll do is below, um, at the end of the video, I'll have a link to that um, Golden Earring song so you can listen to that if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and start, like I said, with Born to be Wild. And if you saw the movie Easy Rider, you'll be very familiar with this one. And just for the record, guys... <laughs> This was incredibly hard to pick just five. So I did ask a few people and I took their picks and mine, mostly mine. And uh, I've come up with a top five. I'm not saying that these are the best top five songs. And I'm not just saying that these are the top five, that five songs that just happen to mention driving. I'm just talking about songs that have that something extra in their tank, if you will. How's that? <laughs> a little extra octane in, octane in their tank. So we're going to go with that. So let me get my headphones on. That's enough of an introduction. And we're going to start with this um, Lala, uh, Lollapalooza, Drive-A-Palooza, day one. Hold on. Okay, we are back. Welcome back to Drive-A-Palooza, day one. You know, when I was trying to come up with names for this, I came up with a bunch of really stupid ones. Not that this one isn't stupid, but it, at least you get the point across of what I'm trying to do this week. And it'll be five days. I'm not going to do seven like I do with some of the weeks. Before we get into this, real quick, if you guys like this video after seeing it, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you would follow me on YouTube here, that would be awesome. Click that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I release some new content. And as I always say, if you really like what you're seeing, if you would consider subscribing to my channel right here on YouTube, or if it were on Patreon, both sites are about five bucks a piece. I don't try to destroy your wallets when I do this, and it really helps me out a lot. So thank you for that. So let's get going into this. This is Steppenwolf Live. I don't know if I have a year for this. Um, it doesn't say, but it's Steppenwolf Live. It looks like an earlier cut. I've listened to about 10 seconds of it. So let's just get going and we'll see what it is. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, this is an obvious break, so let's do that. Um, okay, so why is it that so many artists, and this isn't the only artist that has had this happen, their top songs always come from like their first album. Do they, do they like save up these songs that they've worked on? Like if you got, like this one is off their self-titled debut album. Do they work on a song their whole life and they finally come out with an album and that's the song that they just got it down to perfection? I don't know what the answer is, but so many bands, their best songs come off their debut albums and this is no exception. So whether you're talking about um, driving down a road or honestly listening to this, just good old fashioned classic rock, this song has to be on the top or at the very near the top of everyone's list. It's just such an awesome rock and roll song. Like I touched on, um, I think I, I touched on this in my introduction, it does such a great job of capturing that essence of freedom, adventure, and just the open road. And that's what makes it such a great song <laughs> to drive really fast to. John Kay, who was the lead singer of this, uh, was always very true to this band. Even after the band had made some personnel changes and stuff, he was always with the band and always supported the band. And he sounds amazing here. He's got such a great rock and roll sound to his voice. I do question his wardrobe choice, but if you sound like that, um, I guess it's okay. Saturn is my favorite planet, so I'll go with him on that. But I got to question that a little bit. The guy in the bass guitar, um, I don't know if, the guy on the left in the white, he's looking kind of cool, but um, I got to work. I'm a little worried about his the way he's dressed here. But all right, let's go ahead and play this to the end. Here we go. I guess they wanted to do that again. Let me sh let me shut this down here. Okay. Um, you know, I, I liked this song when it first came out, but when I really, really fell in love with the song is when Steppenwolf came out with their Steppenwolf live album. Man, when it comes to rock and roll albums in its entirety, that album way, way up on top. If you guys have never listened to that entire live album, you have to listen to it. It's got uh, Hey Laudy Mama, Magic Carpet Ride, um uh, all, all sorts of just um the, the i forget the name of all the other ones but i, I don't do well under pressure <laughs> but and this song isn't it like they like bottled the essence of rock and roll and unleashed it in this song i mean that's it's just pure rock and roll and i love the fact in this live version i like it a lot that they actually stayed true to the original sound of the song of the studio version of the song so many times oh and i think i've mentioned this before you see bands live and the songs that they sing sound nothing like we're used to hearing on the radio and that is not the case here i think they um did a great job of staying true to it because normally changing it up is not necessarily a good idea the the only exception off the top of my head that i can think of where it just was genius was um uh, eric clapton when he did layla he did that unplugged and he totally changed the song up 
masterpiece. I love that song so much more than, even than the original. Anyways, guys, listen to me. This is rock and roll, and this is what you need to be cranked up on your radio the next time you're driving down the road because you have to. That's all I can say. All right, let me get my headphones off, and I'll be back for final thoughts. Hold on. Hello. Welcome back to Final Thoughts. You know what? I got to pat myself on the back because I think I did an amazing job picking out this song for day one. I think so, at least. You'll have to give me your thoughts. Simply stated, and I think I've worded it about every way possible already, this song is just an absolute rock and roll masterpiece. It's got these amazing guitar riffs, and this song was kind of cut short, but if you hear the longer version of it, it's oh, it's got some amazing guitar riffs. Powerful, powerful vocals, in my opinion. Um, this infectious energy of the song. And obviously, looking back at when this was recorded, it's got this timeless sound of rock and roll that I just... I just love, and you don't hear anymore today. Maybe a few exceptions. Bands like Greta Van Fleet and those younger bands, I think, are really doing a good job of trying to pull some of this music back. And when I'm thinking about this song, I think I pulled like the music format trifecta because I know I had this on vinyl, then I had it on cas uh, a track, then I had it on a cassette, and. I guess I go beyond that. I even had it on CD. And if you think about it, I also have it on an MP3 format. So that's five. <laughs> and it just keeps getting better and better. Although, in all honesty, full transparency here, I will always be partial to the original vinyl. To me, it's just a more broader and richer music experience when you're actually putting the needle on the record and you hear some crackling in the record. And oh, I just... Watching the thing going around, I just love it. It's just a great experience listening to music that way. This is an un undeniable classic, and I'm so happy that I was able to share this with you today, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Okay, guys, listen. Again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and as always, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count, okay? That's important. Peace out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Actually, tomorrow. See ya. Bye.